Hi, it's Greg Harrell here with another Vim screencast. And tonight I want to talk about emoji. Well, I don't really want to talk about them, but I feel obliged to because it's really hard to get Vim to render emoji correctly, even though it's the year 2020 on Mac OS in the terminal. And there are some problems that are all too easy to run into nowadays with the increasing popularity of showing emoji in command line tools. Sooner or later, you're going to run into this kind of strife. And uh, this file that I've got open here is a great example because it's got so many emoji in it. This is definitely going to cause problems. So let's look at some of the different kinds of emoji we've got here. I'm going to hit G8 and that's going to show me the UTF-8 code points that are that correspond to the cursor position. So that one there, you can see it's a three byte UTF-8 character followed by another three byte modifier. Um, as a We've got a four byte UTF-8 character there, another one. Uh, here's a three byte one, a four byte one, another three byte plus three byte sequence. Basically, we've got a fair bit of variety here. But if you look at the cursor block, that'll be our first clue that something's wrong. So look at that thumbs up emoji there. You'll see it's got a double width cursor block under it. But the paintbrush one there only has a half width cursor block. So that's an indication that the terminal and the editor don't fully agree about how wide that character is. And if I try to edit that line, I'm going to run into trouble. So if I hit W to jump to the beginning of the next word, it seems like it didn't go to the beginning of the next word. It's showing me that I'm on the O now. Um, so let's just say I want to insert an X now between the F and the O. So I go into insert mode, I hit the X, and now I've got a mysterious second F that's appeared. That's not good. So if I leave insert mode, it sure looks like the X got inserted before the word instead of after the F, which is what I wanted. So I'm going to undo that. And apparently I undid it, but the editor is still showing me the line as it looked before. That's not good either. So I'm going to go up a line. Now the line updates and it looks like it used to look. So I guess that's good in a way. Um, but just to show you how this happens on different lines, um, I'm going to go into visual block mode and I'm going to jump down so that I can insert an X at that second position in each word here. So I'm going to go into insert mode. I'm going to insert the X. I'm going to leave insert mode. And the TLDR is that there are two lines here that had the X inserted in the wrong place. So there's that one and then there's the one that we looked at previously. So something's wrong here. I'm going to undo those changes. Fortunately, the fix is pretty straightforward and it is to set no emoji. Um, and you'll see here if I repeat my edit operation again uh, in visual block mode, if I can do it right. Uh, now the X got inserted at the second position on every single line. So let's look at this corporate setting here, the emoji setting. It defaults to on. And when it's on, all emoji are considered to be double width. So I don't really understand the mechanism that's going on here. But when that setting's on, bad things happen. So I'm turning it off. Um, things happen especially badly in NeoVim, which is the one I'm using right now. Um, if we compare the behavior, oops, if we compare the behavior with vanilla Vim, which I have here, as you can see, I'm going to set uh, emoji again. You'll see that those two problematic lines visually reflect the underlying problem because they're indented, at least in Vim, I can insert an X at the second position and it will wind up in the right place. But what we're seeing here is a visual hint that something's wrong. Um, but the solution is the same in Vim. So if I set no emoji, everything's going to be great. And indeed, if I echo that file in a terminal, you see that the terminal thinks that this is the alignment that should apply. So that's tip number one, set no emoji. But uh, if you're using Tmux, then the problem gets a little bit worse. And the reason it gets a little bit worse is because now it's not only the terminal and Vim that have to agree about how wide characters are, Tmux has to as well. So I've got a build of Tmux here that I'm going to start up. I'm going to open that file again. Whoa, doesn't look good, does it? So you'll see some weird stuff going on here. We've got some mysterious lines that are just apparently not there. And when I move the cursor through the buffer, lines seem to be clobbering one another. So if I had trouble editing the file before, I have even more trouble now. Basically, I have no idea what's going to happen when I edit this buffer. And so 
The solution that I had for the longest time for this kind of issue was I have a command that enables me to open the current buffer in MacVim. Now MacVim doesn't have these problems. Uh, you'll notice it has other problems, but not the same problems. So uh, some of these characters render as half width in MacVim. Uh, but at least I can edit the buffer without any kind of corruption. So once again, that same experiment, I can insert an X at the second position and everything's going to be just fine. So how do we fix this problem when we're in Tmux? Well, luckily I have a solution that I prepared earlier. <laughs> um, the solution is to build Tmux with the UTF-8 proc library enabled. Now that's something that you can get from Homebrew if you're on macOS. Get the latest one, so 2.4.0. Um, and it used to be the case that you could do brew install tmux enable utf8 proc or something like that and it would build with utf8 proc but they removed the ability to pass special configuration so now the only way to do it is to build it yourself so you clone the repo you run you know autogen.sh or something like that and then you run configure enable utf8 proc and then you build it, and then everything is rosy. So I have one of those already that I built previously. So I'm just gonna open that, and I'm gonna open that problematic file again, and you can see that the problems are all gone. So between those two fixes, between building Tmux with enable UTF-8 proc and set no emoji, everything seems to be just right. I mean, we still have the problem with the cursor block showing as half width on some of these lines, but that's just a cosmetic issue at this point because editing always works and things always appear in the right columns now. So I'm pretty happy with the solution as it is. Um, so I hope that was helpful to you. And if it is, be sure to subscribe because I will probably have other similar things to say in the future. Thanks for watching.